We're going to go back to implement geometry. The general setting is on boom on full width. It's for our guidance. The Borgo measurements are auto populated for our full width boom. For our seed boom. For our mid row bander fertilizer boom. For four, it's our NH3. You notice that the settings aren't in there correct because that's a dealer installed option. You do not enter your widths at this location. Our boom five is our drill control. Again, that's auto populated. To get in our NH3 dimensions, you go to section control, sections. So on our booms two and three, they're auto populated. So we got 120 inches on all the booms except for one and eight. Okay, so we're gonna move over to boom four, which is our NH3. We've selected eight sections. If we look at boom three, we have 100 on one and 100 inches on eight. The rest of the sections are 120. For today, we're gonna make our NH3 the same. So I'd enter 100 here, and then 120 for the rest of them. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna go to all, I'll go 120, then I'll go back to one, make it 100, and then down to eight, and make it 100. To verify that we have this correct, we can go back to geometry. So boom five and all the other booms are 920 inches. Boom four must be 920 inches as well. Also within section control, we have to have our timings. We have timings for boom two, boom three, boom four, seed, granular fertilizer, and NH3. Follow the section setting procedure as per our YouTube video and or instructions on the website. We have on times and off times. Go to section switch. Enable your virtual section switch so it comes up on your operator screen. 